Depending on whether you're a student or you're a teacher, the view of the particular class is going to look different when you go into Google Classroom. And I'll be honest, one of the things I recommend teachers do is to add a student to your class that is really you in disguise, like a Gmail account or another account that you might have, just so that you can see exactly what it looks like when a student logs in. Because if you've been teaching for a while, you know that sometimes students say, well, it doesn't look like that for me. So anyway, if you have yourself like a fake student that you can log in as just to make sure that it's exactly like you expect it to be, it can save you a lot of heartache later if actually it doesn't look like you expected it to look for a student. Let's look at some of the differences though so you know what I'm talking about. In the first example, we're logged in as Bob Nugget, and Bob Nugget is the teacher of our sourdough baking class. So it looks like this. Now, if he's a teacher or a student of multiple classes, they'll all show here. But here at classroom.google.com, we just see that this is his sourdough baking class. Now, there's a couple things that are going to differentiate this from what a student sees. For example, here, it actually shows that you have two students, whereas a student will have something slightly different there. Also, there's no picture of you here because you know that this is your class. You'll see what I mean when we go to a student's view. But down here at the bottom, there's a couple things that are different. Now, this link is a direct link to the Google Drive. So if you click on this, it'll open up Google Drive. And this is directly to the specific folder created for the class. As soon as you create the class, it creates a folder in Google Drive. And you can see these are the files that are in there for the particular class so the class members can see what's in there. Back over here, this will open up directly to our gradebook. If I hover over there, it says open gradebook for the sourdough baking class. So you can click directly on this link. And rather than just going into the class, this is going to go into the class directly into the grading section. And this is where you can actually set grades for the particular assignments that you've created for your multiple students. Now, a student obviously is not going to have access to this gradebook at all. So for them, it's going to look slightly different. This is the Powers family user that we logged into and added ourselves to the account. Notice it looks a little bit different. We could still click on it to go directly into the class. We still have this link to go directly to the sourdough baking folder of Google Drive, but rather than a direct link to our gradebook, here if you hover over it says open your work for sourdough baking. This is just a nice shortcut so that you can go directly into the class into what assignments you may have that are going to be due. And we'll see here we have one assignment that's been assigned to us. We'll look at that in another video to see how we can add assignments and assign them to students. But basically this is that direct link. Rather than going to a grade book, it goes to our assignments. Now I also want to show you Let's start back at the beginning. If we actually click on the sourdough baking link, this is like our general link into the classroom, our stream of notifications we're going to look at later. But I want you to notice a few things. Okay, if we look here, we'll see that there is an upcoming assignment due, establishing our starter. If we look over here in classwork, we're going to see there are a couple things. We have a topic called home kitchen work, and then there are two things. This is uh, an assignment that is due on March 22nd, and this is looks like just uh, an informational thing. So we can click on this, and Mr. Powers having a recording. And so here is just a YouTube link that we've given to our students so they can see how to feed their sourdough starter. Okay, so this isn't an assignment. This is just a link. Down here, it says there's a due date, and it's it's due and it, you can click on there and it'll give us our actual assignment, which is literally a PDF file that I uploaded to this assignment. Again, creating assignments we'll look at a little bit later, uh, but this is what the student sees. Now, if we go back into the teacher view, it's a little bit more informative once we go inside. This part looks the same. It's just our list of stream information. Like we can send a note to the whole class and it shows our upcoming assignments that our students are gonna have to turn in. But if we go to the classwork tab, notice there are more things because there was no online work and there was no bake your first loaf. And that's because when you're a teacher, you see all of the assignments and all of the classwork, even those in draft mode, or things that are scheduled. So this says it's scheduled for March 28th at 8 a.m. That means this assignment is going to appear for students on that date. So they won't see it at all, but then it will magically appear for them on the date that you've scheduled it. So you get to see all of the things, scheduled, draft, and active, whereas a student does not. A student only sees currently active items. And the things here that they don't see are grayed out. That's just an easy way that we can tell that these are not active for students. But remember, you see them all. And this is where it's nice to have that fake student account so you can log in to make sure that they see what you expect them to see. And of course, another big difference is there's no grades tab 
if you're a student, whereas with a teacher, you can go right to the grades tab and do all those grading. Like when we follow that link directly in our classrooms right here, it just takes you right to the grade tab, which students don't even have. So while the views are of the same information, teachers and students do see different information depending on uh, what is active, like what assignments have been active or scheduled or in draft mode. It's important to know what your students are seeing. And like I said, one way to do that is to create a student that you can log in as just so you see exactly what the students view. I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.